Uh, good morning. Uh, let's tell you about our main story. And move to crack down on executive pay and tackle boardroom abuses in privately owned companies will be outlined by the government today. The plans include forcing Britain's biggest firms to reveal the pay gap between bosses and their average workers. Ministers are hoping the move will increase public trust in business following widespread anger over the collapse of BHS. Here's our business correspondent with more, John T. Bloom. Rowlandson Knitwear could be the future. Although it was founded in the 1930s, for the last year the firm has been 60% owned by its staff. Not only that, but the staff are represented on the trust which runs the business, giving employees a real say in how the company is run. The major decisions, including those major decisions around pay that are made in the business, they have to be approved by the trust. So we have one of our employees, the employee nominated individual that's on that trust. With the likes of Sport Direct not paying the minimum wage, while the boss made millions and BHS going bust with a massive hole in its pension fund, the government has decided that something has to be done to win back public confidence in business. So today it'll announce plans to force companies to publish the difference in earnings between the chief executive and the average employee, introduce binding votes on executive pay packages by shareholders, and consider giving workers an advisory role in deciding top bosses' pay. There should be some restraint in top bosses' pay. The fact is, over the last 18 years or so, the FTSE is roughly where it was then, and bosses' pay is up 300% over that period. There is no question too many bosses are being rewarded for failure. However, these proposals are also likely to be seen as a watering down of earlier government plans to tackle corporate greed and rebalance the economy towards those who are just about managing. John T. Bloom, BBC News. A plane carrying a professional Brazilian football team has crashed in Colombia.